Hey, hey, flappers! Someone suggested that we try out flappers. D&D can be a tough game, especially if you have trouble outwardly expressing your emotions. And let's be honest, a lot of us TTRPG players, me included, have issues with emotional language. I struggle with this aspect of the game for a lot of different reasons, but then I started watching a Bria Iyengar DM, and more than any other DM I've watched, she asks her players a really simple question. What interests you most in this moment? Are you good? What are you most afraid of? What's that little tug? How badly do you want this to happen? How do you feel about X? It's not always explicitly a question, but she manages to get the answer out of her players one way or another, whether it's through dialogue or straight up just asking them. As DMs and players, we immediately learn to focus on the what do you do aspect of D&D, and we forget to address the how do you feel aspect of the game. So what do we gain from asking and learning about player and character emotions? First off, if you ask a player directly how their character feels, Feels, rather than asking through dialogue, it allows a stoppage of time, where dialogue demands that time moves forward. So if a character is heading into a conversation or a interrogation maybe, it can be super helpful to just ask that player how their character is feeling heading into the confrontation. And now the player and the DM can be mentally prepared and eager to take on that confrontation rather than timid or tentative. Next, the DM can learn a lot about characters by understanding their emotional state. Nothing is going to help story more than actually knowing where your players and their characters are at. I recently ran a murder mystery and the biggest mistake that I made was never asking my players how they were feeling at key moments. So some advice, when you feel like you've introduced something important, ask your player how they feel about that. It's number one going to guide you as a DM to understand this character a little bit better and number two it's going to guide the character and the player and be like hey Mel wake up like pointing out this might be something you need later on this is something you want to pay attention to and maybe form some feelings about to begin with you can express your emotions by hitting the like button <laughs> That was so cheesy. Hitting the like button really helps to get more eyes onto this video and it helps it spread to more people so it can help more people. So if you like this content, please just hit the like button down below. Now, Abria is very good at getting players to express emotions at the right time for story's sake. Asking at the right time can help players recognize big story moments for their characters. So at this point you might be saying, okay Flappy, you complete fool. <clears throat> what is the right time to ask a player how their character is feeling? Think about those inner struggles that your PCs have. Maybe even write them down. When the dynamic of one of those struggles or feelings shifts dramatically, that's the right time to ask how someone's feeling. And that's one of those things that you, maybe you get a better feel for as you DM more games. But my advice is just check in if you feel like an emotional turn has happened for a character. This tool can actually be really useful in virtual games as well when players are struggling to pay attention. This is what Abria says to do. Being really like flexible with your players about like reminding them in a lot of different ways instead of just saying like, just as a reminder, you're in the middle of this scene. This is what it looks like. Like finding other ways to sort of like refresh table memory is probably the biggest thing. Lastly, a chance to express those character emotions allows us to do what sometimes we can't do IRL. At the table, we can express our embarrassing and often hurtful emotions to a third party, which sometimes we can't actually do in real life. This expression of our emotions allows us to fulfill that cathartic experience we're seeking from playing a role-playing game in the first place. Expressing this also allows us to point out what others might or might not be privy to and allows the DM to call for insight or charisma checks among PCs or NPCs. Now those skills that people may not have had an opportunity to use before feel a little bit more useful now that the emotions are out in the open. All right, that's all I got. Just remember, do as Abria does and allow space for emotional expression. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.